Meta is building the world's fastest AI supercomputer. And I don't know how I feel about that. It's Morningstar News. Big storage, nice network, good compute. <laughs> In all seriousness, so this is kind of cool. Um, take a look at the Facebook um, blog post. Um, and I just said Facebook, but it's Meta now. And that's, that's part of the problem here, actually. Um, Facebook is building an AI supercomputer. Um, so it's, it's already online from what I'm reading here on their blog post. Um, but they're, you know, they're ramping up um, the storage computing network um, capabilities by, you know, hooking them all together. And that's supposed to make it the fastest AI supercomputer by the end of the year. Um, now, one of the things they're interested in doing here, one of the examples from the article um, was uh, being able to translate conversations in real time. Um, so that, that, that's the type of thing they're thinking about using this thing for. But because it's Facebook, because it's Meta, um, yeah, we have some concerns. Now I say we have some concerns um, with Facebook Meta um, building this AI supercomputer because they have access to a lot of data, right? Um, not just people using Facebook nowadays, but I mean, if you're on any website, um, that has any kind of social integration, whether it's Facebook, Google, um, Twitter, or whatever, um, you're being tracked all over the web. So Facebook has a lot of data, and you put um, a lot of data with the AI supercomputer, it's gonna be able to figure out a lot of things, right? Um, looking through all the user's data, even if it's anonymized, anonymized? anonymized, <laughs> um, yeah, you can still gain a lot of information by looking through that data and by letting artificial intelligence look through that data. Um, so as a marketing tool, we think it's cool to have access to all that data, but we don't like the idea of it being in Meta's hands or you know any big company's can hands. Um, let the people own their data. Um, which is kind of a tricky subject too, right? Um, but we also understand that with all this data, they can do a lot with training it through the AI. So it's kind of a, it's a tricky situation, um, but uh, we really think that um, what Facebook and Meta is doing with uh, virtual reality and now artificial intelligence, I think in the long run, they'll bring some um, cool things to the table um, utilizing this technology um, and, you know, fingers crossed, uh, they don't do anything bad with it. Now, another one of our sort of concerns with just this idea in general is um, like data centers are a thing, right? You have big data servers and, and whatever, but we see images like this with all the graphics and GPU cards and whatever lined up. Um, yeah, so the AI supercomputer is using GPUs um, because you know you're you're slamming a lot of data to, into it, but it's not like doing a whole bunch of calculations, and that's you know why you use a GPU in this case. But we see things like this, and we just think, yeah, that is a lot of energy to comb through this data, right? And you know, hopefully. You know, we figure out AI, <laughs> you know, as if that's something you can just figure out. But hopefully there's a way to optimize this sort of thing. I just hate seeing these sort of images. It just reminds me of, um, you know, the cryptocurrency mining with the GPUs. You see people, yeah, setting up these data centers and the energy um, is just not... You know, it's wasting a lot of energy for nothing on the crypto side. We believe artificial intelligence is a good use of this technology. Um, but yeah, I think GPUs and yeah, seeing these big centers for processing data. Um, yeah, I want I want to see the see them talking about um, the energy efficiency, the the heat and that sort of thing that they're bringing along with this and not just, oh, look at this super fast supercomputer. Um, like talk about the other things um, that, 
you know, cool, we can process a lot of data, but what is that bringing besides um, cool new communication features? Um, you know, it, we want to advance technology, but we also want to, um, I want to say, save the environment. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's just another one of our concerns with um, seeing things like this. So Facebook has a lot of money to throw out these um, various research projects, right? Um, virtual reality, um, they're really bringing that to the forefront. They're working on the metaverse, which, you know, now they're doing uh, with Facebook and Instagram, they're looking into NFTs and cryptocurrency. Um, and, you know, artificial intelligence because, you know, computer vision and all that kind of stuff um, and communication um, is going to be important, um, is important. And so, yeah, I, I, I like these ideas that Meta has um, their research team looking into um, because it's, it's technology I'd like to see advanced. Um, so good on Meta for doing that. Um, but uh, yeah, and we want to, you know, take advantage and have, you know, companies and other people take advantage of this research they're doing. Um, but uh, yeah, so keep on doing, but uh, yeah, make sure you're sharing with everyone because um, <laughs> we don't want everything to be in Meta's hands, right? That's kind of um, scary to think that, you know, these are the technologies we're interested in, we're interested in seeing in this future, but we don't want it to be led by one company, right? Um, so yeah, we just think this is an interesting project. Um, and again, they're ramping up the speeds. Um, by the end of this year, they're saying it's gonna be the fastest. I, I'd be interested to see, because um, we're thinking about Tesla and how they're building their own custom chips and stuff like that. I'd be interested to see if um, Facebook goes for something like that. Again, to, to help address, because just looking at the image of all the GPUs lined up, it's like, that can't be an energy efficient way to do things, right? Um, so we're, we're kind of interested in, in uh, you know, following what they're doing here with this AI research um, uh, computer, um, but also what are they doing um, for the future? Um, so yeah, uh, that's all we got for you today. Um, what do you think about um, Meta uh, creating this AI supercomputer? Is it a good thing? Is it kind of scary, especially because, you know, it's Facebook, it's Meta. Um, we're curious what you think about um, them venturing into this sort of technology. Um, after they even discontinued using their facial recognition, which is, you know, computer vision, AI, um, machine learning. So it's, it's all in the same realm. Um, but uh, yeah, we thought maybe they were walking away from that a little bit. Um, but yeah, here's a supercomputer that's going to be looking at a whole bunch of stuff from speech to video to image, um, you know, text and everything. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think about that? Is it an issue because of Meta or is it, you know, it's okay and let's let's see where this technology takes us. Um, but yeah, that's all we got for you today and uh, take care.